reading with Bella. Reading is for everyone. This is Kavi's journal. My journal. Fine. And who is Kavi? She is the American Girl of the Year 2023. Ooh, let's read the book. This is the back of the book. It looks like a journal with a paper. Welcome to my personal private journal. If you're my friend and you want to know all about my best birthday present ever, a great way to learn cloud names, what I did for Diwali all five days, and how my friends and I got our dance move down before the curtain went up. Then I give you permission to read my journal. If you're a little brother, then keep out. <laughs> Sincerely, Cobby. Okay, let's get into that book. So this is her whole family. So this looks like her dad, her mom, her little brother, and of course, Kavi. This is her dog, Scamper. This is her Dadima with her. And then this is her friend, Sophie and Part Prairie. Wow. Let's see what the story's all about. My 12th birthday, September 30th. Today is my birthday. Dadina and I baked a cookie cake because I like cookies better than cake. I almost forgot the flour. Eek! Okay, so we're going to make the cookie cake. <gasps> Stay Check. tuned for a future episode. Okay. Dadina gave the, me the best gift ever. Tickets for me and my friends to see Wicked on Broadway this Sunday. A cookie cake is just a giant cookie. While the cake was baking, Dadima and I danced around the kitchen with Scamper. I can't wait for my birthday dinner party tonight. Wicked, Sunday at 2 p.m. I can't wait, Bella, I can't wait. Well, I bet you will have a fun time. Let's keep reading. I had the best birthday party. It was a picnic with my best friends, Sophie and Pari, and Dadima too, of course. We do drove to Princeton because it's beautiful and it has my favorite ice cream shop. We spread out a picnic blanket on the lawn near some big fancy buildings. I went to Princeton for college. Dad went there, so he hopes I do too. Rashi says you need smart brainists to go to Princeton. I wonder if my grades are good enough to get in. Our picnic was the best here. Here's what we had. Sub sandwiches, samosas, cookies, cake, ice cream cones, cookies and cream, blue moon, mango, bubblegum, pa pistachio. Sophie's fave. Harry's fave, Dadima's fave, and she, and she's picky about her mango flavors. Rashi's fave. I got this because it's the same color as the witch in Wicked. Yum. Hello, Broadway. Here we are outside the theater on Sunday afternoon. Sylvie is channeling Glinda, and I guess who? Elphaba. Times Square was noisy and bus bustling as we walked. To our theater, we were surrounded by billboards, each advertising a different show. Someday I'm going to see all these shows. Then the theater doors opened and we went into the plush lobby where, where we were checked out all the awesome Wicked merch. I love Broadway. I even had been to New York. Did you know that, Gobby? I didn't. It's so fun to go to Broadway. We need to do that together sometime. Well, maybe in summer I'll bring you with my mom. Score! Okay, let's get back to the story. I can't stop thinking about Wicked, the music, the singers, the actors. It would be so amazing to, to be in a show like that someday. You'll never guess what was posted at the school Monday. It's a review. Gather your crew. Let's celebrate unique you. Yeah. Each act should be eight to 10 minutes long and showcase your unique talent. Students must be in good etiquette standing to participate. Your dreams. I have to do this. 
But I am brave enough to do it alone? But am I brave enough to do this, to do it alone? Maybe I can persuade Kavi and Pari to do it with me. Oh no, I didn't notice at the bottom line on the poster before it, I've always done pretty well in school, but seventh grade is a lot harder than sixth grade was. We have to switch classes and keep track, track of so many assignments. I keep forgetting to bring my home to bring home my notebook. Better step up my game so I stay in good etiquette. Standing for plus, I'll need that for Princeton. Assignment notebook. Bring home. After lunch was math class. We're learning about negative numbers. It's so confusing. How can two negative numbers cancel each other out? Other out. Here's what Miss Mrs. Roberts, my math teacher, asked us. A and B are negative numbers. If you multiply them, will the answer be one, positive, two, negative, three, it depends on the numbers, four, not enough information to tell. Answer one, positive, who knew? I didn't know the answer, I guess, for so embarrassing, so embarrassing. Kari and Sophie knew the answers. <sighs> I need to study more. Not yet. I don't. You got this. Kari and Sophie and I all take dance lessons. Kari and I are learning a traditional dance style called Catholic. It's from North India, where my family is from. Say it with me, Catholic. It rhymes with unstuck. I've been taking dance lessons since I was six. I want to learn all the Indian dance styles and the American ones too. I've also taken Bollywood jazz and modern dance. Sophie takes hip hop. I rush through my homework. No, now I'll get to get in the musical mood before dance class by practicing piano at the keyboard. Can you tell I love performing? Russia can, he and his medical diagnosis. Diagnostics are so annoying. Kavi has Broadway-itis. I don't. Tuesday, October 4th. On the way to dance class, I asked Pari and Sophie if they would be in the review with me. Sophie's up for it, but she wants to do hip hop dance. To do a hip hop dance. Kari says she doesn't like the idea of performing in front of the whole school. I need to convince her it will be fun. I told Perry, remember how cool those dancers were in Wicked. That could be us dancing on stage in the review. But she didn't look convinced. Even if I can find a way to convince her, what kind of dance should we do? The elephant is a symbol of wisdom in Hindu culture. but. Even Haiti didn't have an answer for me. In fifth grade, we learned about Venn diagrams. Here's mine. Kavi, modern dance. Perry, ballet. Sophie, hip hop. Catholic, jazz, tap. Hmm. What am I gonna pick? I don't know. It seems like a hard decision since you have both, they're both your very best friends. <sighs> We've taken dance for years, but we're trained in different styles. I told my family we are having trouble deciding what kind of dance to do in the review. To find out what they said, turn to the page. Catholic is a beautiful traditional dance style. Of course, that's what you should do, not that hippity hop. I tried not to laugh when Dadima said that. At my school, hip hop is very, very popular. Hey, it's popular. It's like the song from Wicked. But Perry and I hadn't taken hip hop lessons. Like Sophie, maybe Sophie's teacher could show us some hip hop moves. But then Perry probably wouldn't want to do it at all. And Dadima would be so disappointed. Javi's mom opinion. Kavi, you're already taking piano and dance. That's a lot too, is too much. No way, mom. 
Kavi's dad opinion. Dad's opinion. As long as you can keep your grades up, you can be in the show. Great, Dad. I tried to do homework tonight, but my eyes were closing. Gotta go to bed. <sighs> Wednesday, October 5th. Last night, I was exhausted, I, and I couldn't find my textbook. I keep thinking about the review. It's hard to focus on negative numbers when you're thinking about dance numbers. <sighs> dance floor, sing and dance, create. Here's a secret about, my, about me. My brand's, brain's moves fast. It's like a TV that keeps scanning different channels. Breaking news. Boring. Let's see what else is on. My brain never stops on just one channel unless it's something I really love. So in my class, if I'm getting confused or bored, my brain, brain switches out to look looking out the window. Channel channel or the thinking about cute animal animals challenge channels. Hey, look at the squirrels in my tree outside my classroom window. It can be entertaining but also exhausting. I can only concentrate on what the teacher is saying if I work really hard to focus. Sometimes it seems like I have to work a lot harder than my friends to get my schoolwork done. Then it seems easy, so easy for them. My friends know my mind likes to wonder, but they don't know how big a problem that is for me. And I haven't told them I don't want them to think I'm weird. Oh, check out their moves. I wonder if Parry and I could do that. Dance, dance, dance. Thursday, October 6th. Parry and Sophie got A's on the science quiz. I didn't tell them I failed it. I couldn't study for it since I couldn't find my science book notebook. Maybe I'm just not as smart as they are. But I don't want them to know that. I'm worried they might not look like me as much. I can't tell my parents either. They might say I can't be in the review. Kavi, I think you have Pinocchio's. Pinocchio, Pinocchio's. Your nose is growing. No, it's not. Oh, my. Is not telling the truth the same as the same thing as telling a lie? Roshi, Roshi loves the story of Pinocchio. He's always asking me to read the attention. Review meeting Monday. All students participating the, in the review. Singers, dancers, musicians, jugglers, stage crew, everyone. Auditorium 3.30, I mean 3.15, 2.4. Today there was planning there was a planning meeting after school for kids in the review. Sophie and I are all are all in, but Harry says she's still on the fence. She says she'll think about it. I know she's shy, but we're a trio. It just won't be the same without her. Come on girl, let's do this, Harry. After dinner tonight. Harry texted me. Harry, I'm in. Me. Clapping. Heart, heart. I'm so happy. Me. I texted Sophie right away. Harry's in. Me. Sophie, yeah. Hip hop till we drop. Oh, who? Oh. How will we decide what kind of dance to do? Tuesday, October 11th. Today at lunch, we argued again about Indian dance versus hip hop. Perry sided with me, but Sophie won't give in. Decisions, decisions. Maybe we could have a dance contest. The winner would get to choose the dance style for the review. But who would be the judge? Hmm. is such a mess. It's Sunday and this week is Diwali. So I have to clean my room plus I need space so I can practice my dance routine which means 
I have to pick up all these clothes off the floor. Hey, here's my missing science notebook. Okay, that's done. My floor's clean. Yay! Mean. Yay, me! Now my desk is distraction free. And I'm all ready for Diwali. I can't wait. I know it. I should be studying, but I'm going to practice my music for a while first. Then I'll study. Really, I will. This week is Diwali. That's my favorite holiday. It's the festival, festival of lights, and we celebrate it for five days. Diwali is about the victory of good over evil and the light over darkness. But it's also about family, food, and fun. My parents told me that I need to focus on the Wally this week. Stop thinking about the reveal. 24. They like to remind me that traditions are more important. Here's what we're doing for each day. Tuesday, November 1st. Tonight, after dance class, Sophie said, I'm not being fair to incident on dancing Catholic instead of hip hop for the review, but I didn't I don't see how we could do both because they're so different. The music, the outfits, the dance styles, everything. Besides, when Pari agreed to perform, I told her we'd be doing Catholic still. I hate that Sophie thinks I'm unfair. Sophie's not happy. Oh, <sighs> you know it. I'm really not happy, Kavi. I feel like this is unjust, unfair. Well, I'm really sorry. I think I'll forgive you. Oh, best friends again. The truth is, I don't know hip hop and she doesn't know Catholic. And there isn't time for us to learn a whole new style. The review is a week from Friday. And everyone who signed up is supposed to be practicing their acts. We don't even have an act yet. I think Perry is just hoping we'll decide to drop out of the review. That way she won't have to, da to dance in front of the whole school. <gasps> I hope you enjoyed this part of the book. Get the book so you can keep on reading and see the ending. I know it's going to be good. Thank you for reading with me. Bye! Reading is for everyone, even though it might seem hard at first, just keep on going.